With the rise of RFK Jr. in the 2024 presidential election, I think it's a good time to look back at his father's presidential campaign. What if RFK became president in 1968? RFK ran for president in 1968 and was infam- assassinated infamously by Sirhan Sirhan. Let's say Sirhan misses a shot and RFK survives and eventually wins the primary. Beating Johnson Alley, Hubert Humphrey. RFK narrowly beats Richard Nixon due to his support among youth voters and the revelation of Nixon's having in peace talks in the final days of the race. Hopes gives RFK the win. RFK would face many issues during his presidency, including the war in Vietnam, social unrest in the cities. RFK doesn't pull out entire but begins to bring the troops home very slowly and are much criticism from both parties. RFK also attempts to pass bills such as the ERA, but due to conservatives in both parties, it fails. The EPA still passes along with the Clean Water Act, which Nixon vetoed in our timeline. The big change that changes in this timeline is that the U.S. is in open relations with Communist China. This has many effects, especially in the 21st century, but that's out of the scope of this video. RFK runs for re-election in 1972 and faces many Republicans, including Gerald Ford, George Bush, and most, motif- and most notably actor Ronald Reagan. Reagan vs. RFK would be a close and nasty race. RFK would be attacked for r- liberalism and Reagan gets attacked due to his radical views on racial issues in Vietnam. What many see as repeat in 1964, Reagan probably loses due to his radical views on issues such as race and foreign policy. This removes Reagan from being president, which has many changes to our world. RFK's second term is hard to predict, but expect the Vietnam War to be an even bigger issue than ever. I have no ish- I have no clue with who runs or wins in 1976. Dems that can run include Scoop Jackson, Walter Mondo, or a Southern conservative like Jimmy Carter potentially gets the nomination. Many Republicans potentially run, including Bob Dole and, Ger- and Gerald Ford, but I think Reagan tries again for the nomination. But if I had to guess, I think whoever the Republican nominee wins simply due to party fatigue.